the former governor of River State, Peter Oldley, has backed the current governor, Sibylai Fubara, that there will be no any issue and that he can sleep with his eyes closed. This is coming days, weeks, months after the tussle between the governor and the former governor, the immediate past governor, Newsom Wiki, who happened to be the current FCT minister under the Bola Ahmed Tinibu's administration. But before I play the video for you to watch what he said exactly concerning the battle between the two heavy political gladiators from the River State, let us understand the fact that River State is an oil producing state of which every politician that comes out of that place wants to take total control of the resources that comes out of that place, which is seen as one of the reasons why there will continue to be this torso here and there. Knowing fully well that Wiki is not that person that is quiet compared to Peter Odley, as well as the former governor and minister of transportation, Rotemi Amechi. So he may go all the way to fight this man up to 2027 and even beyond. But now that it is becoming more obvious and more of the stakeholders from the state are now throwing their support behind similar of Fubara, is there any political pedigree left for Mr. Wiki? Let's take a look at what Peter Odeley said. Our people have a saying that a man shows love either with his mouth or with his leg. The governor has demonstrated both symbol to the people of Onelda. In the few months he has been in charge. The next election is very far, but what the governor has done so far is enough to secure the support of what we have done in local government area going forward. Because the greatest asset of the state remains the people. This local government is the host of highest percentage of oil and gas in Nigeria. There is a saying that if you go to every house, the people who work in the kitchen are usually the fattest. I want to assure you that from the corners we see, we will make sure that no Onega appointee of your administration gives you cause to be worried or to doubt their loyalty to your administration. Go home and sleep with your two eyes closed with any assignment and on elder son or daughter our people are behind me. so this is all like we know from the beginning i have said severally on this reverse crisis that it is high time the governor is being let alone to do his work he has been commissioning works you know flagging up projects and all of that and like i always said some of these projects that they are commissioning and flagging off are things that ought to be done in the late 90s not what we should be talking about in 2024 because we have outgrown this level of road construction portable water talking about light these are the things that we should be having 20 years ago why we should be talking about technology and see how we can grow you know our economy and reduce unemployment rates but no we are still commissioning roles in 2024 and then, in as much as is a welcome development since they have not been able to do that all along, but then the politicians that are in power should be left alone by those who call themselves godfathers, especially Unyo Sumike, because the people of River State are the ones suffering here, except they put themselves one side and allow those in power to do their work, just like Bola Metinibu did in Lagos has been reported by many that he has been able to pocket Lagos for over 24 years and still counting and now that he is a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria he may extend that to other states across the nations of, of Nigeria but the question still remains that all of these what has they actually achieved for the common man in the various states let's at least take at the comment section Thank you for watching.